So let's see what that looks like in the browser. On the right, you can see I've loaded the application page, and on the left, I have my web inspector open, and databases, local storage, and session storage are currently disclosed, and they are empty. When I click the settings button, I should expect that session storage is going to be created because, there we are, the local files entry has been created. Initially, that will be empty. The reason it's been created is that on page animation start for that panel, load settings got called and load settings tries to access session storage. We can see there are currently no key value pairs in session storage, but when I enter information on the form, notice the behavior of the placeholder text. Favorite color, name, favorite food were the placeholders. As soon as I type in the field, the placeholder disappears, and if I empty the field out again, the placeholder returns. So I'll enter my favorite color and favorite food and click Save Changes. When I click Save Changes, the Go Back function is going to be called, so I should be returned to the panel that I was on just before visiting Settings, and my values should be saved in Session Storage. In order to see those save changes, I usually need to click off and click back on Session Storage, but you can see my favorite color, my, my name, and my favorite food have been saved. When I return to the settings panel, load settings will get called and those values will be filled in. Now let's be sure of that. I'll clear out these fields so that there's no content in them and watch carefully as I click cancel. You could see just instantly there the values get filled in. That's because a page animation start happens both when I switch to and away from a panel. If I want to use local storage instead of session storage, I simply change every occurrence here of session storage to local storage. When I switch back to my browser and reload, you'll see session storage gets cleared out because this is now a new session. If I switch to the settings panel, we'll see a local storage entry get created. There it is. It's currently empty. I'm sorry. There are metadata values that are stored in local storage that have nothing to do with my application per se, but my data is going to be entered alongside it. So again, I'll enter my name, my favorite color, and my favorite food. And this time, when I click Save Changes, those values will have been added to local storage. And sure enough, there's the name value, the color value, and the food value.